you know that everybody's memory comes down to that one moment where the rock bashed you in the face <laughs> with the chair. Walk me through that entire moment. How did that all go down? We were in the back, and uh, I was. We were going through some spots, and then we we're going to do the chair shot. And I didn't like chair shots. I just I felt like man, it just I. I, the back was fine, but then they were hitching the top of the head or the back of the head. And I was like, I looked at Rock and I said, hey, man, we do that chair shot, man. Just hit me in the face. Oh, my God. And he looked at me and he goes, I'm not hitting you in the face. I go, dude, hit me in the face. I'll take care of the rest. He goes, man, I'm not hitting you in the face, man. And I was like, dude, I'm serious. He looked at me and he said, man, you, you, you're ribbing me. I said, no, I'm serious. Hit me in the face. And if you don't swing it, I won't sell it. He looked at me and he goes, whoa, I'll swing it. <laughs> and I said, okay. So we get in there. And he looked at me. He goes, you sure? And I said, dude, trust me. He goes, all right. So we get in there. We get to that spot. And he looks at me. And <laughs> I remember he said, looking up to him and going, you better swing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you were saying in that moment? Yeah, I was like, you better swing oh, it. Oh, man. And he looked at me. He goes, oh, I will. <laughs> were there, was, you know, did you have any sort of injury after that? No, it, it, it was a lot easier for me to take that to the forehead because it didn't hit me directly in the face. So when he swung it, all I did was just tip my chin down. And I took it right in the forehead. And if you know anything about how your body is, your forehead is the thickest bone in your head. So instead of taking it to the top of the head or, or anywhere else, that was the place I knew when I took it that I wouldn't get a concussion. And so when he swung it, because I didn't want to take something that I would embarrass myself. Somebody sure. eases up on it. Or, and I knew by hitting me in the forehead, I knew he could swing it and I would be okay. And so when he hit me with the chair, whack! And I literally, as I go to go back, I was like, dude, I didn't, I mean, I hardly even felt it. I mean, I mean, that's no lie. I'm not lying. God is my witness. He oh my swung God. that and he hit at me with it. And I literally went, well, that would, that was a lot better than I thought as I was rolling backwards. And I hit the ground. I was like, thank God I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> Usually you get hit with like the seat part. That felt, I, I felt like you got hit with like the top part of the chair. There. It was both because I think when he hit uh. me, the, the actual seat caved in. And then the top part slid down onto my head. Well, that's exactly what we saw at AEW, a double or nothing. When Cody took that chair shot, same thing happened, but we obviously saw that it didn't go as well for him. Yeah, and I think a lot of times, too, it's, uh, you, you, it's the way you're taking it, the timing on it. It's got to be perfect because it, it can turn out wrong. But like I said, I would rather see it coming than not coming. So what do you think of when you see a chair shot like that in 2019, the, the one that Sean Spears did to Cody Rhodes? And then we look back at, uh, you know, in your heyday, those were happening almost every week on Raw. I love it. You know, um, I like to see those things happen. And, and uh, a lot of people get angry when people copy other people. And I'm like, dude, this is the world we live in. 